Hi, I'm Rich Brown for CNET. Today we're going to take a real quick look at Apple's brand new iMac. Now this system here is the 27 inch model. There's also a 21.5 inch one for less. Uh, this goes for $16.99, has a 3.06 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo chip, comes with four gigs of RAM, as well as a 256 megabyte ATI Radeon HD 5670 graphics chip and a one terabyte hard drive. Now we haven't tested this system yet, but we have a feeling that three gig chip is really going to make an impact as far as performance goes. Most striking for this system, though, clearly is the screen. We know of no other all-in-one in this price range that has such a large display. The specs are uh, 2560 by 1440, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So there were rumors of a Blu-ray drive coming to the new IMAX. It's still just a straight DVD burner, although you do now get an SD slot. That's new for Apple. Also included in the box are wireless peripherals now. So there's a uh, sort of brand new keyboard. It comes with an aluminum chassis, wireless. Probably more interesting is the mouse. As you can see, it's also wireless. There's also no scroll ball at the top here like the old Mighty Mouse. Instead, Apple's calling this the Magic Mouse. There's a touch capacitive uh, sensor here down the middle where you can use to scroll. It accelerates like the iPhone. Uh, there's also some lateral movement. You can do a 360 uh, kind of scrolling around a photo, for example. Uh, and it seems to be application sensitive, at least based on the uh, limited demo that we had when Apple briefed us on the system this morning. Now, the only other major external change to the 27-inch uh, model, at least, is the display port on the back. So the ports mostly look the same. You can see here, though, is the mini display port. Now, if you buy a separate dongle, which Apple is selling today on its website from Belkin, you can actually use the iMac as a secondary display. So that means virtually any video source you can output over mini DVI, you can plug into the iMac. Now, we still have to get the system in the lab to do our full hands-on as well as performance testing, so our opinion of this is not really well formed yet. That said, we thought it might be helpful to do a side-by-side -side with the older, large 24-inch iMac just to get an idea of how big a change Apple has made to the new model. So it might be a little bit hard to tell in this setup, but uh, over here we have the old iMac. This is a 24-inch model. And you can see that there's definitely a difference in the screen size. Here's 24 inches. Here's 27. You might get a better idea if you look at the bottom. But in person, the difference between these two is very apparent. The screen over here is bigger, brighter, and the colors just look that much more accurate. Uh, this is backlit LED. This is not. Backlit LED is similar to what Apple does on its uh, laptops. We are a little bit surprised that we don't see quad core yet, at least in the lower end models. There's a 1999 version of the 27 inch iMac coming out in November that actually will have an Intel Core i5 chip. So that'll be quad core, and we're interested to see that one in particular, how it does on our performance tests. For here, though, we've only got an updated CPU, but more impressively, we have a very large screen. There's a 21.5 inch model that starts at 1199 that also has a 3.06 gig uh, Intel Core 2 Duo chip. And that one looks as impressive in the same design as this. So we'll get these in the lab and get to testing and hopefully we'll have a review up in the next day or so. So I'm Rich Brown and this is Apple's brand new 27 inch iMac. Hi, I'm Molly Wood, host of The Buzz Report, the show about the tech news that everybody's talking about. See it every Friday in high def at cnet.com slash buzzreport.